Oh, wow. Mm. Nice. So, I have painting class later on today, um, but it's at 1 p.m., so I do have quite a bit of time this morning. Oh, the exposure. It's a bit boring, but for now, I'm just gonna work on my essay. Uh, it's due this week, so there'll be a lot of essay writing in this video, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, sorry, I just had to adjust the um, exposure, but lots of art and painting as well, which is good. It's gonna be a good week. I hope you enjoyed the video. So this is my workspace and I've got a few little projects and things that I've been working on. Um, this is a painting class, but they actually really encourage more collage um, elements. So I've just been using interesting materials and trying to combine that. Oh, and trying to combine that with painting um, just to make some interesting stuff. But I'm mostly using this as an opportunity um, to do studies and tests for a painting. Um, like a big painting project that I've been planning on doing for a while now um, and it's actually really exciting and hopefully I'll get started by the end of this week so you might be able to see a bit of that but yeah this is a good opportunity to um, practice some techniques or approaches and um, have fun. Obviously I do need to check the boxes of what this course requires so I can't do as much of what I would like. Um, that's the frustrating part and I might talk a bit about that later, but it's still interesting stuff and experimentation, which is, yeah, always good. to make it sort of like a milky consistency is what the teacher told me and then you pour it in here and then you can use that as spray paint. The thing is I was actually quite frustrated um, today just because like my initial plan of what to do today just was had to be scrapped because I didn't have access to the facilities that I needed and they ran out of materials so I was quite annoyed because I was just like, what the hell, what am I supposed to do? Um, I guess the good thing is that here I am trying something new. This is pretty fun, honestly. I'm indifferent to what I made today, um, but I guess it's it's not really what I'd usually do, but I, I guess that's a good thing. Um, it's good to do different things and challenge yourself. Um, and I'm gonna keep an open mind and see what I can do with it in a couple days. So this is a big problem that I have with art school right now. I just feel like, I just feel like there's a very big focus on modern art and I do prefer to go more of a traditional approach and personally I appreciate art that is visually impressive or conceptually impressive but I just feel like a lot of modern art um, lacks both. <laughs> There's just a really big focus on art for art's sake and sort of challenging what art is which is great 
but now it's just become so overdone like I feel like that's all there is um, so in a way this the whole thing of modern art is pushing outside of the boundaries and going outside the box but I feel like I've just been shoved in another box where I'm shunned for wanting to pursue um, sort of more traditionally approached methods and techniques and and wanting to really deeply explore conceptual ideas so i've been really quite frustrated with that obviously it's not like this in every art school i've been to a different art school which was very much a traditional art school and i loved it it was very much catered to what i am interested in developing but that is just a big issue that i've been having with art school lately i don't know maybe it's extraordinary and i just don't get it but I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff outside of university, so it's okay. I have a whole array of art that makes me very happy. This wing is messing me up. They always have to do it exactly when I want to film. <laughs> so I'm going to get my MDF board canvas to start this big painting. And I'm quite intimidated. <laughs> like I've never painted as large as I'm. I'm being ambitious, basically. are judging me for filming myself. <laughs> That's a big canvas. It doesn't even fit on my easel. This is just acrylic paint and I'll be using this for the base coat. <sighs> Pray for me. The surface is basically all covered up. I did mix it with quite a bit of water, so I do need better coverage before I would even consider going in with oils. But either way, um, I need to like plot the composition in and block in the basic shapes and um, colours with acrylic paint, so that won't be a problem. You really can't see anything because I've sketched really lightly. <laughs> on the board to give myself a bit of a guide to go off when I start blocking in the basic shapes. But I'm really happy with the sketch so far. Yeah, I think I've managed to recreate my sketch quite well um, and made a few tweaks along the way. I'm not gonna lie, I'm exhausted now. I do have to go edit a video now, so yeah, it's good. It's good, I'm tired, but it's good which are part of a cylinder seal impression across the front of it. I run my feeling to you, bottle them up.
I'm so excited. Okay. That was so fun. Good morning. Today's my theory day. I don't love it. It's not my favorite day. Um, it's the tree again. I didn't really manage to get to sleep that well yesterday. Like it took me ages because I was paranoid that there was a man outside trying to climb through my window and kill me. That's never happened to me before. Let me know if it has to you because that was really weird. as far as I got today. Yeah, it was good. I'm actually quite happy with how the composition is looking. I see some depth. I'm gonna go and do as much of my essay as I can because it's due tomorrow. Once again, just writing my essay. How eventful. <laughs> I've also been editing this morning um, and I've been trying to switch from iMovie to Premiere Cut Pro. Um, I've always just used iMovie but there are quite a few limitations and I feel like Premiere Pro is just so much more um, professional. So I thought it was time to sort of learn that. I always love how I think this is going to be quick. It's never the case so I don't know why I keep falling for it. I'm almost done. <laughs> I just need to go through and check it. Get out my life, please. Peter! <laughs> Submitted for grading. <sighs> wow. It's 5 p.m. It took me all day, but it had to be done. I did it, so that's great. I'm going to try and work a bit on this. I started it a while ago, and with all the other projects, I haven't really continued it as much as I wanted to. I'm gonna work on the branch a bit, and I'm gonna try to give the bird a bit more depth because he's looking a bit flat. Actually, I have to work on my journals for university. So I've got a painting journal for my painting class and a contemporary art research journal for that class. It's actually quite helpful to get ideas down, brainstorming and just organising how you're going to approach projects and things like that. And the good thing is that my own personal projects align with it so I can use those for my university course which is really good. So this piece that I've started behind me is definitely a personal project. It's something that I personally have been interested in doing for a while now but um, I've managed to find a way to merge that with my uni workload 
so that I'm not completely overwhelmed. So I've actually been doing all my research, artist research as well, what elements I like about their work and how I can apply to my own work. Studies that I've done, um, anything that I've seen that has inspired me, and exhibitions I've gone to, and stuff like that. It's good. saturated than I want it to be but then again I always think the same thing when I work with acrylics this is just the base so when I go in with oils hopefully it'll look more organic okay voila this gives me like I am scared <laughs> I am really scared anyway I am hungry dude I need to stop looking at it otherwise I'm just gonna keep tweaking Yeah. <laughs> 